learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to add two proper fractions with the same denominator up to 10. Add two proper fractions with two different denominators to its simplest form. Add two mixed numbers with the same denominator up to 10. Add two mixed numbers with different denominators up to 10. It is Saturday. Lena is helping her mother to prepare cookies, which is her favorite food. Lena, we have already finished. These are all our cookies. Can you help me to put them into three containers? Fill in one third of the cookies in the red container, one third in the blue container, and the rest into the yellow container. Why is this so special? I want to pass it to Grandma tomorrow. Okay, now count all the cookies and divide them into three groups. Altogether, there are 90 pieces, Mom. How many are there in each plate? 30, Mom. Any left? No more left. When we add 1 over 3 or 1 third repeatedly three times, it becomes 3 over 3. This means all the three parts make one whole. Now put them in the container carefully. Let's learn more about fractions. Addition of fraction is the process of finding the total of two or more fractions. To add two fractions with the same denominator, retain the denominator and add the numerators. For example, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3. We can also say it as 1 third added to 1 third. So the answer is 2 over 3. They have the same denominators. So we just add the numerators. 1 added to 1 will be 2. So we get 2 as the numerator and 3 as the denominator. What happens if I want to add fractions with different numerators but common denominators? No problem. When the denominator is common, we just add the numerators. Then we simplify it to its simplest form by dividing both the numerator and the denominator with the same number. They have a common denominator, so we just add the numerators. 1 added to 2 becomes 3, so we get 3 as the numerator and 6 as the denominator. We get 3 over 6. To simplify, we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so the numerator is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so the simplest form of 3 over 6 will be 1 over 2. Arvind and his family are having pizza in a restaurant. While the food is being served, his father asks Arvind, Anju, how many pieces of pizza are there in the pan? Eight pieces. Do you know the fraction for each piece? I know. It's one over eight. Yes, we can also say it as one out of eight. One eighth or one upon eight. Let's learn how to add two proper fractions. Who would like to have more pizza? Not for me, Mom. I'm full. What about you, Nina? I'm full too, Mom. I have eaten two pieces. How do you say that in fraction? First, I ate one over eight of the pizza. Then I ate another piece. One over eight plus one over eight equals two over eight. That's it. You're right. What is the simplest form of two over eight? Let's hear what his father has to say. Remember to say the fractions in its simplest form. How, Mom? We can simplify fractions to the simplest form by dividing the numerator and denominator with the same number. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, the simplest form for 2 over 8 is 1 over 4. You learn very fast, aren't you? It's called a quarter or one-fourth. Let us see what Arvind and his family are going to do. Father, can I have some cake, please? 
I like the cheesecake. I want some too. Of course you can. How much do you want? I want half of the cheesecake. I want quarter of the cheesecake. Let's listen to what his mother has to say. Anju, do you know the total amount of cake in fraction? Sorry, mom, I don't know. Can you show me? Sure. Anita wants half of the cheesecake. That is 1 over 2. Anju wants quarter of the cheesecake. That's 1 over 4. So the total cheesecake is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. But we cannot add fractions of different denominators. We must find the equivalent fraction so that both of them have the same denominator. We can change 1 over 2 to 2 over 4. Now that they have the same denominator, we can add the numerators. That is 2 and 1. So the answer would be 3 over 4 or 3 quarters. I understand now, Mom. Thank you. Let's explore further. What is 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2? First, shade one part of 3 in the diagram. Shade another one half of 2. To show the addition, overlap the one half diagram over the one third diagram. Shade one part of the overlapped section to another part in the diagram. The total shaded parts are 5 out of 6 or 5 over 6. Last Sunday, Narmada made a cake. She put 3 and 3 quarters of teaspoons of vanilla essence and 2 and 1 quarter of teaspoon of cinnamon powder in her cake mixture. First, we add the whole numbers. 3 plus 2 is 5. Then we add the fraction. Since the fraction has the same denominator, we just add the numerators. 3 plus 1 gives 4 and keep the same denominator of 4. So we get 5 and 4 over 4. 4 over 4 is 1 whole. So 5 plus another 1 is equal to 6. Now we know Narmada has put 6 teaspoons of ingredients in the cake mixture. Narmada uses two types of flour for her cake. She used one and two thirds of cups of white flour. She also used three and a half cups of whole wheat flour. How much flour do you think she used in total? Let's find out. We can add by converting them to improper fractions or by combining their whole numbers and fractional parts separately. First, I'll show you the converting method. Convert 1 and 2 thirds to improper fraction. It will be 5 over 3. 3 and a half is 7 over 2. Before we add the two fractions, they must have the same denominator. The least common multiple for 3 and 2 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 7 is 21. Add the numerators. We get 31 over 6. Convert to a mixed number and its lowest terms, we get 5 and 1 sixth. Another method. We combine the whole numbers and the fractional parts separately. First, find the same denominator for 3 and 2. That will be 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. So it is 1 and 4 over 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 3 times 1 is 3. So it is 3 and 3 over 6. Now add the whole numbers. 1 plus 3 is 4. Then the fractional parts that give us 7 over 6. The answer must be written as a mixed number and in the lowest term. So the answer is 5 and 1 over 6. Mixed numbers can be added in the vertical form too. Arrange the fractions in vertical form like this. Find the same denominator for 3 and 2, which is 6. Now add the sum vertically. You may apply any workout you prefer in your exercise, in class or at home. Congratulations! 
you have learned the following. Add two proper fractions with the same denominator up to 10 to its simplest form. With 1 as the numerator for both fractions, with different numerators. In the process of addition of fractions with common denominators, retain and maintain the denominator and add the numerator. Simplify to the lowest term. For example, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 gives 2 over 3. Add two proper fractions with different denominators up to 10 to its simplest form. With 1 as the numerator for both fractions, with different numerators. For example, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 is 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4, which gives 3 over 4. 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 equals 2 over 4. Simplifying, we get 1 over 2. Congratulations! You have learned the following. Add two mixed numbers with the same denominator up to 10. Add two mixed numbers with different denominators up to 10. Remember, before two fractions are added, they must have the same denominator.